I think there are several pieces which changed during the times and the perception nowadays is a bit different. Let's take as an example Fat House or the whole Fat series. At that time when I did it, for the first time it was purely for me working with the notion of sculpture, like changing masses and volume in relation to this changing content. So coming from the idea with the daily life in relation to the sculpture, coming from the idea when we gain or lose weight, we change volume, so one could say this is sculptural work. So this was the primary idea, the first idea. And then of course it became a social component because our society, especially the Western societies, becoming more and more obese. Now, with climate change destroying our world, all of a sudden it became a totally different component, which I found very interesting. It's endangering the world by the constant growth of economy. Our ecological footstep is much bigger than it's supposed to be, and this is very much related to this sick dogma. Anyway. But there's also another piece which comes into my mind, narrow house. At the very beginning, it was a reaction on a specific situation in a show at this Uhland Center. It's a huge, gigantic museum. And for some reason, the curator gave me kind of small and long and narrow rooms. And in a way, this annoyed me. And I tried to make something out of this. So I started to make a squeezed house to show that they squeeze me in my potential making a great show. So I started to make this idea with the narrow house. But then very fast, when Narrow House was finished, I realized I came automatically back to my parents' house, which is a house built in the 60s, which brought me back to a very specific society, a post-Second World War society, which brought another problem. It was a very, at that time, still rigid society. So the house, it showed very intensively this claustrophobic society from that time. So the beginning was very different, and it changed into this, for me, interesting shift.